it's about a, a biblical character. The character was Lot. And Lot, you know, was having to escape, right? And he was having to escape this 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 dysfunctional world that he found himself in, or found found himself in. And it's a long story. You can go go read about it. But the interesting part was that when you look at how Lot had to escape, then he gets to the place where he's gonna gonna escape. And he realizes, I don't know if I can go. I don't know if I can pull that off. And the angels are trying to get him to, you know, take off across the desert. And he goes, I don't know if I can pull that off. It seems too far. And you know what they do for him? They give him some halfway houses along the way. Now, that's the point I want to talk about here. These halfway houses. If you are looking at some next step in your life and it just looks too far to make it, it probably is because you're not a frog and you can't leapfrog all the way to the end. But what you can do is figure out what your next halfway place is. You know, it's sort of like if you were. Let's pretend you're swimming across a lake. Well, you know that get from here to the other side is too far, but out there, you know, there's a few little, you know, rocks that come out, you know, or a reef. Sometimes you see this in the ocean. Well, actually, that's not a good metaphor. We should not step on reefs. That's a bad one. But let's say you're in a lake and you see these little rock piles. Well, you know, I can't make it all the way, but I can make it to there. What does that look like in your life? Well, you take an addict, for example. They go, a sober life? I can't pull that off. No, you can't. But you could make it to the halfway house. Well, what's that? Let's go to a meeting. Let's go to an AA meeting together tomorrow. Or you got to deal with a difficult relationship. You go, I just don't know how to fix this. I know. But you could go to one marriage counseling appointment this week. See, all of life, I've talked about this before in the act like the ant, you know, scenario that it's always done in steps. But today what I'm focusing on is there is a particular kind of incremental step that we need. And that is the step to the next hand that's going to support us to keep us from drowning. Let me tell you a story about a group of women. I was talking about this um, in a particular uh, community. Uh, it was a faith community that I used to speak at a lot in you know, regular gatherings. Um, and the po point being, I, I would sort of speak there a handful of times a year. And big organization has recovery groups all over the world. And I gave a sermon or I gave a, a talk about this very topic, your next halfway house. Maybe it's your next group. Maybe it's your next class. Maybe it's next whatever. But there's got to be somewhere you can land with the angels that are going to be there to keep you above water. So I finished this, this talk, not that talk, but I was there, there speaking again. And these three women came up to me. And they were just beaming. And they said, we got to tell you what happened. And I said, what? And they said, well, remember a year ago when you were here and you talked about, you know, this or that? And I, I forgot how, how they put the, the, the topic, but it was, it was about what I'm talking to you about. We were all at a juncture where we really needed to change our lives. And for two of us, it was career. For another, it was relational. And we realized we don't have our halfway house. So the three of us decided to become a halfway house together. And so here's what we did. We scheduled, are you ready for this? A morning, a daily morning conference call. 
every morning, we're going to all three get on a phone, on a conference line, free conference line. You can find these or FaceTime with you. Free conference call, 7 o'clock every morning, 15 minutes. Every morning, we got on the phone with each other for 15 minutes. And we each had to say, okay, what's the next hard step that I've got to take today in pursuit of getting across the lake? And then we help each other with what are your fears? What are the obstacles? Let's get some strategies. 15 minutes a day. She said, now listen to where we are. The two that went after a career goal had just killed it. And the other was untangled from the dysfunction in her dating life. And now is in a really good relationship with a really good guy. What did it? Setting a goal, certainly. But having the angels. Just far enough that I can get to. That's as far as I can swim. Okay, well, let's put a rock there. Let's have a call tomorrow morning. Now, I don't know what your gaps are, how far you can swim before you need your angel, but I do know this, that any one of us, any of us, we have a finite tank of fuel. It's finite. Some of you may have a big tank. You know, I've talked to addicts that now they go to two meetings a week. But they'll tell you, when I was trying to get sober, they say, I know one guy who led all sorts of recovery groups. Incredible legacy of leading people out of addiction and i asked him i said how'd you get sober and he told me about it. he said well i lost three businesses and three marriages and he said i he said when i got sober i had to go to three aa meetings a day and it was everything i could do to after the morning meeting make it to lunchtime without going to the liquor store now he goes 20 some years later you know a couple of weeks so the point is, I don't know what your dosage is, but we all have a finite tank. And we need refilling to get across the lake. So just figure out what that is. Figure out what that is for you. And get your halfway houses. Get your halfway houses.